Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And today we're engaging in a tome shift. We're about to write a book, the most craziest book we've ever written. It's going to be a Hermitcraft fan fiction. You guys might remember from some of my other Hermitcraft fan fiction books. They're clearly the best things I've ever written. So what we need to do now is take some sort of concept from Hermitcraft and then write about it like we are the original or authors of Hermitcraft. Like, for example, well, it's important to start your fan fiction with things like one day. And you want to start with the word one, not the letter one or numeral one, not the typographical fixture one. One day. And then you pick a character that everybody really likes. So let's see, who do people really like? People really like Zombie Cleo. So one day, Zombie Cleo, which is all one word... It's fan fiction, though. You can just spell stuff wrong. One day, Zombie Cleo was... Now, you got to think of something compelling here. You know, you got to come at this strong. Now, it's weak to just go with, oh, okay, Cleo has like a wreath of flowers in her hair. Maybe she was gathering flowers for her hair. But why would she gather flowers for her hair when she already has them? So you got to do something different. You got to do something... something crazy, something that captures the viewer's attention in surprising ways. Like... One day, Zombie Cleo was burning down a potato farm. Okay, that's terrible. We're not doing that. But that, that, that's a good start. We're getting there. One day, Zombie Cleo... One day, Zombie Cleo... Let's see. Let's start today. One day, Zombie Cleo woke up, and the sun had risen, and the moon was setting, and she was less sleepy than when she went to bed earlier, and the top of her tower had been stolen. There. Classic fan fiction, okay? Classic fan fiction setup. We establish what waking up is, how someone wakes up, the difference between night and day. It's really important to over-explain things in fan fiction. Okay, so the top of her tower has been sold. So now we have a point of conflict. Okay. Now we use quotation marks. My tower top has been stolen. You want to you wanna repeat things for the benefit of the viewers. Okay. So, tower top has been stolen, said Cleo. Wow, thank you, end of page problem. New page. Cleo. That's the Windows button. Don't press that when you're making videos. Okay, so, who would she blame? Who could have stolen it? I bet it was... Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, or possibly Cloud from where Dropbox stores its data, or Cloud from Lacticu's flying car. Cat's funny. <laughs> We're just going to keep the cat. <laughs> okay, so so we have a few leads for her to investigate, right? Boom, we, we've set this up. Clouds, of course, are the enemies of all towers as their misty tendrils creep through matter. intersecting it with wrecking abandon. See what I did there? I turned reckless into wrecking, okay? That's the way that you do this. So, what are we going to do about that now? To the cloud! Shouted Cleo. We're going to have an exclamation mark at the end of Shouted Cleo because, I mean, really, this is this is so important. We're going to go with, actually, Shout Casted 
win Cleo. There we go. There's a Winamp joke for you. If you guys haven't gotten that, then you're young. And I envy you and your amazing skin. So, boom. Next thing. So, who is going to hear Cleo shout this? We need to integrate a, a person into the story that's not Cleo to give her a foil. So, who would be funny to go with Cleo? Now, so let's say Mumbo. Because his name is funny. Mumbo. Oh, we don't want to emphasize that so heavily. Mumbo heard Cleo and saw that the top of her tower was stolen and also wanted it to help her get it back so the rain would not fall on her hair and other things in her house. House. Cleo and Mumbo set off not holding hands because that would be weird and this is not that kind of fanfic and they found a horse who could fly because Dinnerbone forgot to fix his game and they found a second horse too that could also fly because a new page horse can only carry one rider per horse saddle and wearing two saddles is silly. Silly. Okay. Okay. So we we know we've we've got our protagonistas here, and we know that we are gonna have them flying into the sky. Um. Hey, nay, fours. I need to put a quote before that, but this is this is horse pun time. Hey, hey neighbors. We'll, we're, we already typed the R there. We're taking you to the sky to fight the clouds. I don't know why I capitalized clouds. This is not like an RPG. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Thanks, said the people with names in this story. New page. Okay, so let's see. We've established Cleo. We've established the horses. We've established the sky. Now we need to determine what they found. So we need to say that there are heroes so people know that they're not anti-heroes. Because if you touch anti-heroes and heroes, you create an antimatter explosion. Why? It doesn't matter. Boom. Next problem. Okay, our heroes flew far and wide searching for the cloud who was the cloud who took the top of the tower and instead they found tinfoil chef I am surprised he said That Joe didn't think of me earlier when he said Cleo needed a foil for this story. He is not smart. New page. Not smart. There was no extra horse for TFC... So, like the classic fortress, he is, he is, is, he Isis, uh, so like the classic fortress he is, he used teamwork to fly with 
concussion grenades. We're just gonna we're just gonna push that as way past decency. Hmm. So we got three people. They got to go. They got to go. We need to have a confrontation now. We can't have any more confrontations that are not confrontations. These are conversations. Oh, by the way, guys, this is just a random thing. But a bunch of people convened somewhere earlier and then stated how convenient it was. They were all in the same place. And I was like, oh, my God, that might be where that word comes from. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. We're going to say, you know what? Let's pull it back in. They convened at the convenient cloud gas station on the corner and saw a cloud with her tower top and they stopped him or her because you know what pronouns pronouns for clouds pronouns for clouds get super complicated because they reproduce through the water cycle. And they stopped Mist and said, Hey, that is not yours. Our horses will now bite you and kick you. The horses bit and kicked the cloud but the cloud was made of gaseous water and the kicks and bites were not very effective. Okay, so what we're going to do here, so we've, we've set up this confrontation, we got this fight, but the, it's, just, it's just they're struggling. The cloud hit the horses with the top of the tower and since the density and mass of the stone was sufficient the horses got hurt. Cleo and Mumbo jumped away from the horses and did not get hurt and Mumbo through whatever redstone dust into the cloud the dust let's see we want to use a good word here for reacted but we should just not we should just say like the dust overreacted with the water vapor and totally like made the cloud get not as wet and the cloud dropped the tower top and cried redstone tears redstone tears right there okay that after this we're writing a song called redstone tears guys next video is called redstone tears it's gonna be way better than this or maybe we should call this video redstone tears New idea, something about redstone. Okay. Tower top and cried redstone tears. Cleo and TFC grabbed the tower top and fixed it to the lower portion of the tower and then they smiled and everyone laughed. Laughter is important because it shows they are friends and everything worked out for everyone except the horses who now live in the ground. Except Cleo brought them back as zombies, but they are hooved beasts and can't dig out of their shallow 
Graves, and they are not laughing. Neither is the cloud. The end! By Joe Hill's original content, Do Not Steal. Well, that is the best thing I'm ever going to write. So where should we put this? Oh, wait, I can actually make copies of books now. So what I need to do is... Oh, that was a mistake. Go leave a copy of this in everybody's house. So let's go ahead and just dump a bunch of stuff in this chest. No, not the stuff that I need to make the books, because that's, you know not helpful but we're gonna dump a bunch of stuff in chess and we're gonna make some more where's the books really do i only have oh no i have 64 books cool we're gonna go ahead and make some copies of these and leave them for the different people okay so that's a start and we can just throw random things everywhere until we don't have stuff lying on the ground okay great 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 so let's see first we're gonna go to cleo's tower See, that's the tower that the, the thing stole the top of, just in case you needed context. Probably should have showed you that earlier. So, let's see. Of course I didn't bring chests or frames. We're just going to leave... Oh, yeah, we got to copy the... Um. Oh, this is the best way to make books. This is so beautiful. It's kind of weird how that works, but okay, cool. So, we're going to leave this in here for Cleo. And we're going to put a bunch of, I was going to say levers or something, torches. I want her to look at that. Okay, so now we need to go to TFC's house. I don't know where Mumbo's house is on the server, so I need to find that. Yeah... I could leave a sign, but I don't have any, and I'm super lazy. So, this is TFC's house, and he has a mailbox. So, he gets a copy. And, let's see, who else gets a copy? Slipgator? Nah. Hypno? I don't think... Oh, he got a lot of diamonds. Is this Mumbo's house? Oh, there's Mumbo's mailbox. And he also has Happy Customer, so he gets a new book. Great. And so now we have three other copies, so I'm just going to leave one for King Daddy DMAC, because he's going to, like, not know what this is, but, you know, he'll probably look at it. Going to leave one for Isuma, and I'm going to keep the last for myself, because I'm selfish, and I want a copy. So, anyway, guys, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring, and write your own fiction. One of my favorite onion jokes ever was, save a ton of money by writing your own books. Seriously, though, the video's over. Like, comment, share, go home. Actually, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here.